Okay. okay. I got the the papers from uh last from last time we went to uh, we were studying. Yeah. So some of the questions mm -hmm. are back again. So we need to review them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. All right. Like uh, there's go to the first. All right. Do the math and then I'll check it. All right. Part five. So, so eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, and that's also seven. That's one and one. Seven, eighteen, thirteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We passed it. So probably. So thirteen. No. So probably the little, hand. the little hand tells you the number as is. Like if it's one, right now is at what number? Seven. The long one counts by Five. fives, okay? And when it's at twelve, it tells you what? Um, sixty. And when it's sixty, is what? Um, it's pretty much it's seven o'clock, okay? Yes. You don't say sixty. It's just seven o'clock, yes. okay? Okay, seven. I'm seeing too many stuff on the floor, Mom. Your toys, the swords, go put them away. The small little wooden blocks, put them away. Don't pick them up on the floor here to go throw them on the floor in the bedroom. You put them where they're supposed to be in the bedroom. So it's not like picking up garbage here, go put garbage over there again. Okay, that's the thing you're supposed to study. And these are the things I did during spring break. Not spring break, the, when they were doing... Um, <sighs> Quarter is 25. Alright, alright. 25. See, luckily I saved them. I saved all 30, 25, and then. I look for the then answers 30. and then write them. Alright, that's lucky 25. And then. How can you show 50 cents in two ways? Fifty cents. All right, I can do. The 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 tip when you uh doing um math, okay? There's always two sides. When I was learning, uh, this is something I always get. All right. Let's say you're doing twenty plus a number. We don't know that number. It's equal. Let's say eighty. Okay. 20 plus a number is equal to 80. Equal, always think there's two sides, okay? Whenever you shift one number to the other side, you, uh, the sign change. If it's plus, it has to be minus. If it's minus, it has to be plus. Only if you're switching it between these two, okay? The equal, the equal separate both sides. Just listen, please, okay? The equal sign separate both sides, okay? This is one side, 20 plus something, okay? That's one side, and then you have the equal. Think the equal as a wall, okay? It's a wall. It blocks it, okay? Wow, like it. And then there's the other side. It's 80. If you were to move 80 on this side, Whenever there's no sign on a number, it's plus, okay? It's positive, okay? It's regular number, what okay? This? Now, if you're moving the 20 to the other side, to bring it to that side, right now, 20 is a positive. It's just a whole number, positive, okay? So you move it to that side, it's become negative 20, okay? Because you switch it to the other side. Once you move it to the other side, the it become either positive or negative, okay? So now you do the subtraction because you move the 20 to the other side to get this number, okay? 
Okay. So do this. What's uh, so 80 minus 20? 80 minus 20. Let's focus. Don't bring anything else. Let's focus on this, okay? So 80 minus 20 is 60. Now, put 60 there. Can you do the, uh, can you correct it to see if it's correct? Mm -hmm. Can you check it? That's what I mean. Can you check it to see if it's correct? So what do you do to, uh, to check I it? I have to add 60 and 20. Okay. So is that equal to the number you were looking for? Yes. Okay. So 20. Plus what is equal to 80? 20 plus 60. So put 60 there. All right? Remember, the equal sign becomes a wall. Okay? It's saying not if anything moves on either side, the sign has to change. Okay? So if whenever you see 20, it's a regular number. It's regular 20. Okay? So if you move it to the other side, it's become negative 20. Just because you move it from that side of the wall. Do you understand? Yeah. If you move the 80 to the other side of the wall, if it's a minus 80, it's going to be positive 80. If it's a negative, if it's a positive 80 already, you move it to the other side, it's going to be negative 80. Whenever you switch one number to the side of the wall, remember eight, um, the equal sign is a wall. It tells you if you move any of them, the, uh, the number has to change either positive or negative. Okay? Mm -hmm. So what, what are you going to tell me now that I finish my I thought? was going to tell, tell you that there's an, another way how you could know. Okay. Yes. Like, like it, the teacher taught me if there if the line is in the middle, you have to subtract. But if the if the line is over here, like the first, you have to add. It depends on the condition, okay? On the situation or the problem, okay? So, but I'm just letting you know for a simple uh, math calculation. Mm -hmm. And if they give you something plus something, whatever is equal to 80, Whatever number is on one side, if it's positive, you're moving it to the other side of the equal sign, the sign of it change. Okay, whenever you see a number, let's say 80 like this here, it's positive. It's positive 80. Okay, sometimes they have negative 80. Okay, so you know the, the, the how do you call this? You were doing some line balls or something like that. There's zero right here, okay? There's this like that. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. Once you go forward, okay, it's all positive numbers. Once you go behind the zero, it's all negative. Then you have negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, okay? okay. Zero is right in the middle, okay? Once you go to the right side, it's positive, okay? All these numbers here mm -hmm. is to the right side. You see? There's zero up here, right? Mm -hmm. Everything in front of zero is positive, all positive. Anything behind the zero is negative, okay? Okay. Zero is nothing. So the reason we stop at zero, because zero is nothing. You cannot define negative one, negative two, because zero is already nothing. So if, if, if you calculating there's a negative in it, that means it's beyond, it's become, you can't even see it anymore. Do you understand? Yeah. All right, so that's a tip for you. The number is the same number. Okay, when you see the time sign, it's telling you how many times do you see, that's do you number. have that number, okay? Look right for one, what's okay? So what's one, one times two? One times two. It's now, if I said two, two. times five, is two. what? Two times five is right. How many times do you have five? Ten. How many? Two times five. See, you were, you were. I was trying to explain to you one times five. Ten. Yes. One times five saying one times five saying 
How many times do you have five? How many times do you have five? And two times five. Okay, so and one this time one, one times five. How many Mr. times Benny, do you have five? Mr. Benny and Mr. Sticky. One. One time, one time. There's only one five, one time. Okay, so one time five is five. Now, if they say um, two times three. Mm -hmm. They say two times three. It is six. So how many times do you have two? In that two times um, three. Two times. Two time. How many times do you have two? It's not two times. How many times do you have two? Two times three. How many times do you have the two? Oh, three times. Three times. Now, how many times do you have the three? And two times three. Two. Two times. That's right. So therefore, you have three. There's one three. There's another three. Three times. Uh, Two times, right? Mm -hmm. So it's six. How many times do you have two? How many times? And two times three. How many times do you have two? You have two. Okay. There's one two. There's another two. There's another two. So how many is equal to? Six. six. Okay. No matter how you're turning it around, it's still six. You have two, three times, it's six. You have three, two times, it's six. Okay? So that's what that means. So, when you say two times six, okay. you add six two times. That's right. Which is also okay. like you could you count by six, which six plus six is twelve. That's right. Do you understand? Yeah. Oh, did you know that was the last page I just finished? Uh, no. You're not done. Check that's it. the math. That's the math. This is, I'll, I could always check the math any other time. <sighs> I want to do as much as possible, okay? Because we didn't do anything Friday, Saturday, Sunday. As much as possible okay? Now, here, here. For, for the earth signs, they're saying about the stars, earth, and moon, okay? How the sun is important, okay? This is the things we studied last time you had that huge test, and I, I kept the, the notes, okay? Now, what? Chapter 1, lesson 1. Okay, perfect. There it is. All right. It doesn't matter. Describe the characteristic of the stars. The stars. Yeah, characteristic of stars and sun. All right. The characteristics of a, a sun is that it gives us light. All right. Read this. Hopefully, you understand my handwriting because we don't have the book. Characteristic of stars. Stars are huge glowing balls of gas. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Stars are small because they are far away. away. Stars produce light and heat. Stars can be different colors. Some stars are brighter right. than yeah. others. Stars can make pattern in the sky. A group of stars that make a pattern is called a constellation. Okay, see, luckily I kept the notes. And there it is again. You have to study them. I remember another thing that you did not write. What? Some stars are bigger than other stars. Well, and some stars are smaller than other stars. Those notes, I got them from the book. So, <laughs> uh, so go read because I'm going to ask you a question. <laughs> and this is why your teacher gave you this to do. All right. Uh, I don't hear you. Stars are usually photo gas. Stars are small. Good. All right, so, so I could just read what I have here. So, let's see. The Earth's rotation mm -hmm. makes the, the Earth move around. And when it stops, it's either at the moon or sun side. Yeah. Okay, this is what I have here, okay? The moon and sun side. Uh, listen. Okay, describe how day and night occur. Daytime and nighttime occur because of Earth's rotation. It takes Earth one day to rotate once 
around its axis, okay? Once. That's why we have day, okay? All right? As Earth rotates on its axis, one side faces the sun, and what happened to the other side? Okay, Where does it face? Like face? The other side faces the moon. Or the other part of the, uh, uh, you know, the dark side where the sun Earth is not bright. Okay? Moon. Sunlight shine on the side of Earth that faces the sun. Right now, where do you think uh, uh, the Earth is uh, where we are right now? Uh, where? We're at the sun side. Okay. And which mm. creates what? Which creates day. day. Okay? Even though it's cloudy, it's still facing the sun. Okay? It's just the clouds is blocking it. Okay? It's mm. raining. Okay? Question. What? Um, if the earth rotates around the sun, that means one year. If it rotates around the sun, it's on the back of the sun, and the moon is on the other side. How do they make night? Let right, me just tell you, okay, this is the sun, okay, the earth is rotating in its axis, now the, going around the sun pretty much create the whole year, right, when they say around its axis, it's just that the sun is, I mean the earth is rotating it within its own axis, it's going like this, around the sun, okay, it's still rotating, you see I'm turning the pencil, so that will be one year, but, where, while it's rotating by itself here, that's days, okay? It takes 365 days to go around the sun, right? But one day to do the full turn here. Mm -hmm. You understand? That's why, that's how day and night occur, okay? 365 days, okay? It's rotating. It goes around here, 365 days. But one day, Okay, this is the sun. Right now it's day on this side. On this side is night because the sun is not on that side. Do you understand? Yeah. So that's what happened. So I think uh New New Jer Wait. So I think New Jersey is on one half and New Jersey is part of the uh it's not uh, a planet what? within itself. Oh, yeah, okay, right. it's still within Earth. I right, I'm gonna say completely. I like this calculus. Um, this is bound. No, New, okay, New Jersey is when New Jersey is half part of Earth, I think India is on the other side. Yeah, okay. Yes. India is Ooh, on it's the not side. half of the earth. New Jersey is a small little spot. New okay, Jersey. in North America. Okay? A small little spot in North America. Not from okay, India is on the other side, so probably when it's day here, it's probably night over there, okay? All right, listen, please, okay? These you should know already because we discussed this, okay? All right, define uh, Earth axis and rotation. What is the uh, Earth axis? Earth axis. Okay, let, let's re, let's let me review I it. I think it's around the sun. Okay. Earth axis is an imaginary line that runs through north and south pole of Earth. Right? Let's say this is Earth. There's a line that goes through. Remember wow. it, north? It's not completely a circle, I'm just saying, okay? It's an imaginary. When they say imaginary, can you see it? No. Okay, you don't see it. Wow, I'm so lucky. What? Because when I read the book, of, this is from your book. No, when I run, when I read the book about auroras, mm -hmm. it, it, the, the, I, it told me that the imaginary line was actually Earth's uh, invisible thingy that splits to the north and south pole, and when it splits. The sort of wind from the sun goes to the north and south pole, it's out there and creates auroras. Okay. So that's so lucky that they're both the same and I learned that. Well, axis is axis, okay? They create a term for it, but, you know, the planet and Earth have so many things we could study from, okay? People study different things within Earth. 
All right, so the book that you were reading was about what? A robo, something like that? Yeah. All right, so they still use the term axis of the earth, right? It still means the same. It's that imaginary line. You, can, you cannot see it. It's invisible. But because it went through, this is why they're teaching you that now, okay? So when you read it in other books, other kind of different things, when they're talking about earth, you know what axes mean, okay? Things doesn't change as it goes along. Like when you do your spelling, your teacher gives you spelling words, okay? The words, you remember them at the time, but when you're writing your stuff, you change the spelling to your own way. It doesn't change. This is why they're teaching you these things. It means the same throughout. It never changed. People who create different studies branches out of it, but it still comes to the same thing. It means the same thing. Do you understand? Yeah. All right? So axis is axis. Okay? Nobody went and put a line straight to earth and you could see it, you could touch it, you could move it. No. It's an imaginary line that everybody knows. Scientists, students, people who's reading about things, they will explain to them what the axis is. Okay? It's an imaginary line. Okay? So when the okay. earth is rotating, there's that imaginary line okay. that it will take with them. Okay? You understand? So what you read is correct. So I'm glad you understand what you are reading. Okay? This is the very important to me that you understand what you're reading. Yay! Good job. Yay! Me oh, too! Oh. Okay, okay. Okay. I want Michael to be finished. Look what he has to study. I have all that to study. Okay? He has a humongous... Tonight you have to go to sleep early. Your, your school wants you to go to bed early because tomorrow, 9 o'clock, you have the test. Oh, which means I cannot watch TV. You could watch TV later on, but once it's 8 o'clock, bed. I'm going to start getting you ready. 6, 7, you take a shower and stuff like that. All right? So let's focus. That's why I didn't want you to go to the thing with Daddy because there's a lot to study. All these we need to study. I could have studied that in the laundry room. Then you're gonna be running that. All right. So how is this? Why? Okay. What was? How did they put it? Explain. No. How? Explain how the sun is important. Sun is important because it gives us heat. Mhm. Mm it helps plants grow. Mhm. Mm it helps us see. Okay. I think that's it. Okay, it keeps us warm, it gives us light. Okay? Alright? When it gives us heat, which means it keeps up keeps uh, keep us warm. When it keep give us light, it helps us that's see it. and helps plant grow, which is exactly what you said. Now the lesson two here define earth axis and rotation. Okay? Earth axis and rotation, which I said here, where did it? Okay, Earth axis is our what? What is the Earth axis? Earth, Earth axis. Earth. A X I S. Earth axis is a imaginary line mm -hmm. that cuts through Earth, that splits to the north and south pole. Okay. Okay. And how does Earth rotate? Okay. From what? Uh -huh. Earth rotates around the sun. It's rotate within what? Okay. Within its own axis. Within its own axis. What does rotate mean? Rotate means to move. Uh-uh. Anything can move. And people too. Oh, what does it ro ro oh rotate means to move in s around in circle. In circle. Okay. Circle. That's the key thing. Okay? Circle. Rotate means to turn. Okay? Anything can move, but specific type of movement in terms of rotation is to go in a circle. Okay? You understand? Yeah. So remember that term. Okay? <sighs> okay. This far, day not occur. Daytime and nighttime occur because of what? 
they have a nighttime occur because of Earth's rotation. Very good. And how long does it take for Earth to rotate in its own axis? Um, one day. Mm -hmm. One day. And its own axis is one day. Okay? Which is 24 hours. One day. Okay? Now, and in terms of how night and day occur, can you explain? Besides it rotating in own axis? With this part, I'll be back. I need to call the doctor for my mom to see if this is open. Alright. Okay, how are you gonna do your presentation? Mm. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna show you the doctor. Hello? Stand I'm right here. Pre pretend you're in front of the classroom and you, you tell, uh, you, you, please stand properly and introduce yourself. How are you doing? Um, Good morning, my name is Michael Lee. Um, my research project is a tiger. Okay, look at are... me. Don't look at the camera. Look at me. Okay. Good morning, my name is Michael Lee. My research project is a tiger. Female tigers are called tigresses. Male tigers are called tigers. Baby tigers are called cubs. A group of baby tigers are called litters. A group of tigers are called uh, a ambush. Mm -hmm. I, my mom helped me a little bit with the research. First, she printed the sheets. Next, I didn't just print the sheets. What did I do? You print the sheets. I set it up. I you set, set it up and print it. You mm -hmm. print the sheets and set I it up. I set up. You set up the sheets. Mm -hmm. um, next, she, she brought me to the library to help me look up I my mean, research for books. About what? About tigers. Okay. So, we found two books that we were allowed to take home and one book that we had to leave at the library. Okay. So, the two books that we were allowed to take home, we read it together and f find some answers to the questions in the research project sheet. Finally, she took me home and I look, she taught me how to look up on her computer and the internet. Look up what? Look up the uh, things about tigers that we did not find inside the two tiger books. Okay. And what were the two? Uh, what were the things you didn't find in the books that you had to go on the internet to find? Mm -hmm. Some things I did not find in the books are what our male tigers are called. What our group of tigers? No, these we find them in the book. What? Um, there were 13 things we find. We we had we list them. Um, where tigers are located. That's the things we couldn't find in the books. We didn't know where tigers are located. The book sort of tells you vaguely, like the part of the Asian, Southeast Asia areas, but we wanted to find more specific places. So we went on the internet. Mm -hmm. Okay, we wanted to find exactly where they are. Yeah. So where did we find, where did we? So, um, one thing that we did not find in the book is where ti tigers lived or where they're located. Mm -hmm. Some places where tigers are located is at India, mm -hmm. Asia. Uh-huh, that's Asia. Asia. India, Asia. India, Asia. Mm -hmm. hmm. That is country. Miramar. Miramar. Okay. So these are Vietnam. Okay. Vietnam. Once you say Asia, that's that's good enough. Okay. There is. There's only 
13 of the places that we found them. Okay. All right, so what are some, uh, was it, uh, what were the questions? Facts about tigers. Remember, you have to Those tell Those facts them. about tigers are that when baby tigers are born, their mother feeds them milk until two months. After the two months, the grown-up tiger um, feeds them meat. Let, let's move back. You are correct, but let's move back a little bit. The uh the female, the mom tigers feed their cubs for about, use the word about, not until. Until is too specific. About. It could be a bit more, it could be a bit less. It's an estimate. About is an estimate. Okay? okay. So make sure you use the word about, not until. Go ahead, start all so, over. Facts about. Some facts about tigers are that when baby tigers are born, their mother feeds them milk about for about for about two months mm -hmm. after two months the grown-up tiger feed their cubs meat okay what uh, what's another fact about the uh, tigers another fact about tigers are remember the are the two books we picked were very specific okay mm. Save the Tigers, okay, remember the books, Save the Tigers mm -hmm. and Wild Cats, okay, these are the books, okay, so, and the book Save the Tigers, what's the important facts you learned from it? Some important facts I learned from it are... Uh, 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 close it, you're not going to have the book in front of you. Okay. okay.